what's up youtube so today i'm riding the brand new triumph scrambler 400x so this is the elder brother of the speed 400 i don't know whether to call the elder brother or the younger brother this seems to be taller and differently tuned that's the reason why i'm calling it as the elder brother of the speed 400 so yes let's get into the review let me make this review as short as possible because uh, i'm in pune it is very hot we started the ride early in the morning the funny part is it was foggy but still it was hot and uh, terribly hot in the first part of the day we did some trail riding got a good chance to ride the motorcycle drop the motorcycle fall from the motorcycle <laughs> learn many things about the motorcycle and then and after that i actually rode it on the road so this is going to be a first ride impression but yet going to be a little more informative because i spend more time on the motorcycle so yes let's get into the review looking at the styling i have to say that this looks much 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 appealing to me in my eyes because you know i personally own a scrambler the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled and I always have a soft corner and a love towards scramblers that's the reason why I bought that motorcycle. This one has got that big bike stance because of the biggest suspension, the ground clearance and that stance. You look at the handbar, everything actually gives a pretty decent scrambler look. And also this one is actually inspired from the bigger 1200 scramblers. From starting from the front, we have a headlight with a grill. Uh, I couldn't really test the visibility of the headlight even though it was dark in the morning because it was fully foggy so I cannot say how the illumination was but but this particular grill is actually giving a nicer look to the motorcycle and here we can see uh, the front suspension and the front suspension is actually towards the softer side it is longer travel it is softer but I have to say that it's not an adjustable suspension it's a non-adjustable and this has a 19 inch tire so the speed 400 was having a, a 17 inch basically road motorcycles generally have this 17 inch tire and this one has a 19 inch tire so the logic is the bigger the tire the easier it crosses obstacles so 19 inch is like a sweet spot if it's 21 inch it can do better 19 inch is much much better than any road tire and the tire grip is okay i was riding with uh, normal tire pressure like 26 in the front then i have to reduce a little bit when i was going for off-roads still i like to ride this motorcycle with a little bit of less tire pressure in the both ends so that it gives me a lot of grip and the front brake the front brake feel is now much sponger it is more progressive not like the speed 400 triumph doesn't want you to have a, a front wheel lock when you go through off roads or in general bad patch of road uh, but still i managed to do that but it is good the braking feedback is good softer suspension and that spongy brake that is actually complimenting you know if it was a harder brake then the die would have been more and we won't like it and when it comes over here we have a raised handlebar you can see over here but the handlebar is actually kept towards this side i would really appreciate if the handlebar was a little more upright still it is good i love it but for my height i believe that this handlebar is okay but if you are someone who's six feet or even more than that then it might be a little difficult because when you stand on the motorcycle especially it's a semi off-road motorcycle so uh, at times you will be off-roading so at that time i feel that a uh, little more raised handlebar or a taller handlebar will be nice and there is a hand protector over here it is decently okay uh, small faults it can take but uh, on a slightly bigger crash it will break we have proved that and here comes the same engine the speed 400 engine that we have seen the 400 cc uh, the tuning is almost same the only difference is the front sprocket is different so it gives a little bit torquey feel when we ride this motorcycle and absolutely no heating issues with the motorcycle i rode it so hard in the off-road section and not even once it was making a noise for heating issues so absolutely i love it here comes the badging the scrambler 400x badging and uh, the badging is actually very less on this motorcycle that's what i believe people might look at the motorcycle twice to understand which motorcycle this is and uh, here we have a different kind of an exhaust a double barrel exhaust kind of a thing which sounds okay that's what i'll say so stock this motorcycle comes with bash plate and the engine guard that is in a way good you don't have to buy anything additional just because of that and when it comes to the seat there's a split seat and it is comfortable as well the rider seat is comfortable and wide and also longer so you can see that pillion seat even though it looks smaller this can accommodate your pillion uh, trust me because it, it's a flat seat the pillion is not putting too much weight onto the rider side so in a way that the pillion is in his or her own space and when it comes to the rear section the daylight looks kind of okay nothing so fancy from this side okay and yeah this comes with mrf tires dual purpose tires kind of okay reduce the tire pressure you can go off-road and let's get into the motorcycle so yeah typical triumph motorcycle and offset tank cap and uh, i don't have planted food on both sides i can tiptoe but it's okay it's a slightly taller motorcycle for my height but i really love it trust me if you are picking this kind of a motorcycle a scrambler you don't have to really care about the seat height the thing is you have ground clearance just go with the flow yeah triumph written over here is a nice touch and looking onto the switches here we have the high beam and the low beam and the pass switch here we have the drl switch and there's an i button which helps us to walk through the things over here and indicator on the horn this side we have the kill switch caution lamp and ignition 
basic and mirrors are actually good even though it is a bit smaller i like it uh, visibility is good not carrying too much of vibration and uh, looking into the dial a premium looking triumph dial that's what i'll say we can switch the motorcycle to off-road mode where it disables the traction control and the abs uh, the total odometer yeah two trip meters and here we have the gear position indicator tachometer fuel gauge and yeah, of course the speedometer so that's the general basic details about the motorcycle let's talk about the things in detail when i go for the ride all right we are back on road It is actually a very energetic motorcycle. I have to say that. The engine is actually very comfortable. It's like a friendly motorcycle where you can rev it to the heart because that's what you want when you scramble around. When it comes to the road, you have to ride it on the road and when you hit the dirt tracks, yes, you can take it. So that's the thing. So it's not a too hardcore motorcycle for off-roading because the tuning of the motorcycle is also like that. The engine actually feels much comfortable to ridden in the higher RPM, but still there is not too much of rev band. In the first gear itself, you might actually end up hitting that top rev limit so soon. You have to go to the second gear. There's nothing problem in going to the second gear, but the thing is when you go to the second gear, you'll actually carry a lot of speed. I don't know whether you'll be comfortable doing that when you go for the trials. And the things around the engine is like, there are absolutely no heating issues. I really love it in a way that uh, how much abuse you do with this engine. The motorcycle is actually very cool. No heating issue. I'm actually feeling a little bit of vibration on the handlebar when it goes to the higher ups, especially in the redlining areas and on the tank and on the foot peg. But surprisingly, the mirror is not carrying too much vibration. It is giving good visibility. And uh, when it comes to the riding posture, it has a very wide handlebar and it gives you a lot of comfort. Oh man, this place is so good for cornering. So that's scrambling around. You can do that kind of a sports bike on this motorcycle. You see that? I'm actually leaning along with the bike. On a sports motorcycle, that's what we do. Even though it's a wider handlebar, it feels so good to lean along with the corner. Generally on an adventure motorcycle, we don't do that. And yeah, that's what we do when we see off-roads. So the riding posture is also relaxed, much upright. I get a sense that I'm riding a very, very comfortable motorcycle. No back pain issue, nothing. But actually, I would like to see a little more taller handbar if you're going for off-road, especially when you stand on the foot peg and you try to lock the tank with the thighs, then I'll say that, yes, you need a little more raised handbar. Otherwise, ergonomics-wise, I'm completely satisfied. And as I mentioned, this front suspension is actually a little on the spongy side. I can show it that to you. When I brake, yes, it has that a little bit of dive. It's not an adjustable suspension, but still it gives a good feedback. The brakes are not too sharp. That is in a way good because if it's sharp, then we'll lock the front wheel and, and that will lead to a different problem when we go for off-roads. And let's look at the ownership aspects. So for 2.6 lakhs ex showroom, I'll say that this motorcycle is a value for money. No doubt about it. I know that some of you will tell, hey, this 2.6 might be a little expensive. It looks expensive just because the Speed 400 is at 2.3. That's all. Otherwise, I'll say that this is a pretty value for money machine. And as per Triumph, actually, this motorcycle gonna give a mileage of 29 km per liter. So that's a decent mileage. I expect that we will get the same because uh, already Triumph Speed 400 owners are getting the claimed 29 km per liter mileage. So I believe that, yes, we're gonna get a pretty decent mileage on this one as well and the service cycle is the first service is once in thousand kilometers and from then on it is once in 16,000 kilometers honestly i'll say that if i'm own, owning this motorcycle i'll say that i might check my air filter once or have an eye on the engine oil level and all so it's just basic check which i will do but triumph is claiming that this can actually easily run for 16,000 kilometers that is actually a huge confidence from prime side i really appreciate it but you have to do the chain maintenance once in 700 kilometers and by 16,000 kilometers you have to keep in mind that you have to do some amount of other replacements as well say if your chain sprocket is done then you have to go for that or brake pads are done then you have to go for that so certain things you have to see that so let's come to the verdict part of this video 
So if you ask me what kind of a motorcycle this is, this is a scrambler. You can use it on road, you can go for a soft roading, you'll be enjoying it. But if you are looking for a proper off-roading motorcycle, I'll say that go for a KTM, go for a Himalayan. You will love it. This is not a pure off-roading motorcycle because this comes with a 19-inch wheel, a 21-inch wheel give you a lot of confidence to ride off-road. But this one is actually a sweet side. This is an all-rounder kind of motorcycle. So if you are a beginner, I'll say that it's okay if you're gonna use it in the road. But if you're directly jamming into off-road, then I'll say that it, it comes with a ride by wire throttle and you have to be very careful with it because in off-road a very minor twist will lead to a huge change in the fearing and the bike actually pumps in really good so in a way that when it comes to off-roading when it comes to soft roading i'll say that this is not so beginner friendly but still for a road user this is a beginner friendly motorcycle and to all the off-roading guys this is not the motorcycle you should go for a proper off-roading motorcycle this is a scrambler and if you are looking for a scrambler yes guys we have this motorcycle in the single cylinder now it's going to rock the flow I personally own a Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled and I really love each and every bit of this motorcycle appreciating the fact that this is a single cylinder motorcycle from Triumph. And if you are someone who is looking for a highway touring, of course you can do 80 to 120 km per hour cruising on the highway. There are a lot of accessories available. I think the cost of the accessories are a little high but still you, you can purchase your own accessories and go for touring. A wonderful touring machine. And if you are considering this motorcycle for road use, great motorcycle, that's where it is. When it comes to Indian roads, sometimes you don't have proper roads. When there is road, do road riding. When there is off-road, go for it. This is going to give you a lot of comfort. So if you ask me finally, if I see any problems with the motorcycle, I'll say that uh, we had multiple falls from the motorcycle. Out of that, what I observed is that this particular thing actually broke when we had a little harder fall. I don't say that just with one fall it'll break off but a little harder fall. Anyway this is much premium than uh, what I've seen with many other manufacturers but still it broke off and also the lever also broke off and to me this gear lever actually got bent. Those are the minor things which I saw. I'm not saying that this is a badly built motorcycle but I'm saying that if you're gonna push the motorcycle harder I mean having a fall in off-road is nothing it's a daily thing. I take my Ducati and uh, falling multiple times so what I'm telling is that if you're gonna push this motorcycle during off-road then expect a build on it that's what i'm saying don't think that it is going to be a cakewalk if you're gonna break parts on this motorcycle so i hope this video is helpful for you and if you have any doubts on the motorcycle do let me know in the comment section and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye and also i have to say you one thing this is somewhere in between bombay and pune i really love the view of this place really really liking you guys are very lucky to have this kind of a landscape over here next level scenery but the weather it's very hot if it would have been a chill weather it would have been nice but it's freaking hot even my gopro actually stopped working so i appreciate if you could give me the love in the form of likes and comments see you guys bye take care